Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome to Biosciences with Shatreen Sawati and I'm here to deliver the lecture today about the enzyme cofactors. Are you familiar with the enzymes cofactors? These are the, you can say that the friends of enzymes without which enzymes are unable to perform its proper function. As you know that the enzymes are protein in nature and the biological catalyst. Now today you will learn that what is the nature of the cofactors and how many types of the cofactors and what is the difference between the apoenzyme and holoenzyme because mostly students are confused about the apoenzyme and holoenzyme so I will clear your concept today so must watch the lecture till the end and if you did not subscribe to the, my channel kindly do subscribe like and share okay now first of all what are the cofactors Cofactors are non-proteinaceous substances like the uh, unlike uh, pro uh, enzymes, enzymes which are protein in nature. I have discussed in detail about the nature, structure, uh, classification, and many more things about the enzymes. So must visit to Biosciences with Shadrin Savati and especially to the playlist of enzymes. You will get each and everything there. Okay. So these are the Substances which are non-proteinaceous and enzymes are protein in nature, but enzymes do not work without the cofactors. So cofactors are very important for the proper functioning of the enzyme. Is it clear? The nature of the cofactor is that in non-proteinaceous. Now what are the examples and the type I will show you. So what is the apoenzyme and holoenzyme? Apoenzyme, an enzyme without a cofactor is called an apoenzyme. If there is no cofactor attached with the enzyme, just you say that uh, this portion, which is without any cofactor, is known as the apoenzyme. And the enzyme with its cofactors and coenzyme is known as the holoenzyme. Is it clear? An enzyme without a cofactor, when no cofactor is attached, like a coenzymes, a metallic ions, etc., then the enzyme is known as apoenzyme. And when the cofactors are attached with the enzyme, an enzyme is functional, that enzyme is known as holoenzyme. Concept clear? Okay. Now, what are the types of the cofactors? Cofactors are of three types. Prosthetic groups, coenzymes, and metal ions. Prosthetic groups, these are the cofactors tightly bound to the enzyme at all the time. They can be organic or metal ions and are often attached to protein by a covalent bond. For example, FAD act as a prosthetic of sugar, RNA, and many other metallic ions can act as a prosthetic. Means prosthetic group includes both organic as well as inorganic. Now, how do the prosthetic group different from the coenzyme? A coenzyme binds to an enzyme only during catalysis and are organic in nature. Is it clear? They are not, coenzymes are not inorganic they are organic and they attached with the enzyme binds to the enzyme only during catalysis at all other time it is detached from the enzymes and the example most common example nad nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide is a common coenzyme and uh, this coenzyme like FAD, NAD, you are familiar um, in case of uh, photorespir uh, sorry, photosynthesis and um, respiration. There are ma all many more enzymes uh, which uh, become fun functional and perform its function in the presence of the NAD, FAD, etc. Now the metal ion for the catalysis of the certain enzymes, a metal ion is required at the active site to form the coordinate bond. Like zinc is a metal ion cofactor used by the number of the enzymes and many other like copper, etc. 
Is it clear? So uh, now you can see here the difference between prosthetic group, coenzymes, and the metalline. I hope so. Uh, the concept related to the cofactors, holoenzyme, apoenzyme is now clear upon you people. Now you can see here, uh, this is the prosthetic group which is attached to the enzyme and now the enzyme uh, become the functional. And you can see here, the coenzymes is now detached. This is the um, active site and this enzyme. And uh, the best, best example of coenzyme NAD and the best example of FAD, prosthetic group is. So all these are the cofactors. Is it clear? Some in the form of the prosthetic group, some are coenzymes, some are metallic ions. Is it clear? Okay. Now you can see here, enzyme is inactive and enzyme is active. Now you can see, enzyme become active when the cofactors like coenzymes, uh, prosthetic group, metal lines attached with the enzyme. And they become inactive when the cofactors are coenzymes detached. Is it clear? So the concept of the cofactor prosthetic group and coenzyme is clear? Okay. I will be back with my next lecture soon. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Thank you.